I'm Sean Straub, and I'm an illustrator from San Diego. I got involved with the Choke on Evolution project because my friend, who was the director, Ariane, needed someone who could create a cyborg that was going to be his big climax for the end of his film. As far as what the cyborg was going to look like, I wasn't told much information other than he needed a mask slash helmet piece for the actor and an arm piece which would have a drill to come in and out. Knowing that it was a prototype, I wanted to keep it really primitive, really raw. I didn't want anything sleek or form-fitting whatsoever since it was a prototype. It should look like it's rusty and that it doesn't fit like a glove, that it's been kind of smashed into that skin. In all my artwork, I start with pencil, really rough, really loose, and I build it up, the pose, everything, the lighting, etc., etc. Then I scan it into the computer, I drop the transparency down, and then I start digitally painting, and eventually all that will be taken out, and it will be a full-on digital painting. For this particular one, I had made a sketch of the pose that I wanted to use as the main final concept piece, that I kind of show the director or whoever needs to see it to be kind of like, oh, that's cool. Then the fun part becomes, now I need to build it. <laughs> After I saw footage of Choke on Evolution, I was actually really, really happy with it. Not that I was surprised that it wouldn't be good, but we had such a limited time and like limited, limited budget. I've done this before with him and I knew we could do it. It's always a great feeling to know that your hard work paid off and not just my hard work, but the director and the other actors and everybody who helped out, came together, put a lot of time in and to see it come alive, you know, it's a good feeling, but I knew we all could do it. Even though each person had a lot to do, we just put hard work in and we made it happen. See for yourself.